If you just join us, this is the Good Morning Niger Show. And yes, you don't miss. Yes, you don't miss. You don't miss top top um, top to segment. You don't miss this by headline review. But welcome to the main discussion for our show today. And now, Oga Chris David Nainde with me. He be presidential candidate of the Liberty Party and futurist. Now you join us for our show this morning. And what we're going to discuss this morning now the emergence of SWAT, the recruitment and the training. Yes, now we won't discuss this morning. Oga Chris. Good morning. Yeah, good morning yes. and good morning, Nigerians. It's sweet as I say, you join us for our show yeah. this um, mm. morning. Mm. Plenty day to talk about. In fact, our top story segment today now answers matter nine day. And that answers matter nine bring about waiting this SWAT um, issue. And SWAT self been followed. But government say, eh, uh, Unago, they calm down. But I don't say make we answer, so don't answer. Make we start with this our SWAT matter. And they've been promised, say, waiting, training go happen. Now, in the past few days, we don't see many videos that when we say then they circulate of this uh, training where they say uh, SWAT then be, they get. People say, they won't put them side by side with the training where we say that they get for other countries. And what we say Nigerian people be, be get inside uh, one place where be like, say, na small forest, na day there. Maybe we talk about this matter first of all. Maybe we even talk about the issue of this emergence of SWAT before we even talk about the training when they. Youths come out to protest against waiting police brutality. Government respond with waiting a new division when they call SWAT. How you take city matter first? Well, uh, let me just quickly make some few corrections. Okay. Um, I, I was the presidential candidate for liberation movement, not liberty party. Correction, please. Thank you very yes, much. And Thank you. I'm still the national chairman of that party. Liberation movement. Liberation movement. Right. Now, um, first of all, we need to appreciate, as a people, say policing is part of our daily affairs. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, the NSAS problem came because the way the people, when they post go that unicorn, they treat people, knock on, uh, shoot people, and all that it was not good enough. So. People have to agitate to say, okay, let's end yes. this uh, sort. Mm -hmm. But we cannot leave a vacuum. And that's why immediately uh, the police IG have to say, okay, let's replace this unit it's with this other, other unit. However, um, I want to explain the five division of policing mm -hmm. that you have globally. The first one is community policing. So, for instance, when you go to UK now, in your street you will see them. Usually those ones, they know they not carry gun, but they are just yeah. there. So they help in the community. They know the people, you know, understand the peculiar issues. You understand? Enforce law and order and make sure that lives and property of people are protected. Then the second one, you have road policing. So uh, unlike this one, when you go to see roadblock, mm -hmm. uh -huh, you, you are not supposed to have roadblock. But as you are driving in some few meters, you will see police car park, you understand? And that car, you see, and so it do loaded with so many equipment. Before you come, they don't see you. They don't scan and all that. Those are road policing. Then you now have um, information and intelligence. These are the people when, you know, before anything happens, they have, they know how to gather information, intelligence. Then you now have some people when they call uh, investigation. So these people, they train them on how to investigate any issue. If an accident or a crime or anything, they get that skill. Then the last one is called response policing. Now, this is what when they talk about fall under that response policing. And uh, to train any uh, police officer, the first thing is that you need to expose that police officer to the relevant laws. That's why they are referred to as law enforcement agents, or in some cases, say, an officer of the law. So the law, the relevant laws, is supposed to train them. Then the second thing, the second skill they are supposed to acquire is called personal safety. 
because they are, they work when they do na risky job. So how to also safeguard themselves? You train them on that one. Now the third skill is uh, professional standards. Professional standard is about how do you use the gun? In what occasion? What are the relevant uh, equipment or tools do you need to use? Then it also comes with discipline under the professional standard, discipline. In that, if a police officer misbehaves, then he must be punished. In some cases, he has to be dismissed, and in some cases, he too has to be killed. If they find out, say, now negligence, he just carry, do things, just the way uh, those sounds people, they tell our, you say, we waste you, and all those kind of stuff. All those people, in a normal society, as they waste people, that's what they're supposed to waste them too. Because the training when give them under that professional standard, all those things must be listed there. I'll give you one example when it happened. Uh, between 2005 and 2006 in the UK, there is one uh, train station on the, on the ground, they call them Stockwell. Some guys wanted to go and bomb that station. but. Somehow they were chased out and all that. So they were looking for those people. Now, as they were man hunting those people, now so they come mistakenly go shoot uh, one person because they thought the person was part of them. So that is what they call mistake of identity. You know, they pick up that case and the people that committed, it was a mistake, but they didn't just leave them like that, I think they were fined, you understand? What I'm trying to say is that, yeah, since they also have a duty to perform, then there's also what is called duty of care. They say you go message, but you must be very okay. careful. I really appreciate this explanation. People mm. say you don't give um, that one. Where people go, cause say all things being equal for yeah. society. Even for um, even America, say people say, but they look their police for what they watch them for. Say if you see everything, they okay. We say don't hear cases of police brutality. Yes. But at the end of the day, they even allow the police officer go free. We understand the issue of Black Lives Matter now. Also around police people issue and how they take they treat um, citizens. Now we could look this our training and recruitment. Where we say we don't already enter now on top mm. of this what matters. You don't talk and a very good point. You talk. Say police don't feel that vacuum. Mm. Now they introduce the SWAT issue. Mm. And they can't talk to the training good because Nigerians come they shall say, Where SWAT you want carry they come inside? Mm. It no matter if you change the name. Mm. Uh, there's they know what they're supposed to do to ensure that they don't make the mistake where we say SARS been they make. I've been mean, a fresh individual you won't come carry. I've been mean, at the same SARS people, now you won't come change as well. Now those questions been they come. Mm. Emma, from the little way we say you don't gather so far. Uh, you feel say the major issues. When we lead to this kind of massive protest where we see for two weeks for Nigeria, you feel say the police they address them at the moment. What do you feel say now even those major issues where we say they're supposed to focus on this matter than the character where we say we've been seeing for TV? Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Now, um, it depends on the scope. Okay. You know, I break down the five yes. division. And this what, and even the disbanded SAS. We were supposed to be under response policing. Now, response policing, what does it mean? We said you invite that police unit when it is perceived that there is a high risk situation. So, what is high risk? So, high risk simply means that one, there is confrontation of criminals who are also armed, you understand? Then that is a high risk. That is when you will now bring them to come because they have been trained with special weapons and everything to combat that kind of situation. Two, you have hostage taking or kidnapping as we know from here. When there is a kidnapping situation, then these kind of people, they will have Train them. Recently, we had uh, how seven American uh, soldiers or naval officers came into Nigeria mm -hmm. and rescued somebody, somebody when yeah. they kidnapped. That is the work when this uh, SWAT and uh, yes, so supposed to do. Maybe we we'll go back to the issue of understanding the law because now around those areas, now that abuse of power 
Now it really leads to this protest uh, when we see. You talked something very mm. important earlier. We said, go look person tell and say, I go waste you. Mm. And the issue we say, police understand um, the law. They understand where their own boundaries are. Again, I go refer to video. We say, um, Chief Femi Fala not been released yesterday. And he gets some things we say, he talk. Yes, he did for law, but people just, people also laugh at a bit, say, now for this Nigeria, it won't happen. For instance, they talk, say, if you, and if you are invited to the police um, station, say, you get rights to refuse to write any statements. Mm -hmm. Now people first pause, mm. you know, and it, it really baffled me because um, a few months ago, I've been getting a police case where we say I needed to go and lay um, a report down. And even after I don't write my statement, finish, because the person, when we report the case to the police station, a certain um, doctor where they do all sorts, um, whether or not, say, maybe in don't drop money or whatever it is, even after the statement don't end, police been sit me down and tell me, say, uh, Madam, so, 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 been happened. I beg, respond to him for your statement. And I said, I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. kind of thing. I don't already write my statement mm -hmm. finish. But you see, the harassment was so much, mm -hmm. even in the presence of a lawyer. So people come to ask, say, wait, wait, wait. If you don't get those kind of policemen, who go get mine to sit down for police station? Police go turn and say, can't write statement. Mm -hmm. You go talk, say, no. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to write any statements. I have a right to a lawyer. And even if my lawyer did present, self, I don't even need to even write anything. I don't want to write. How we won't begin to break that kind of thing down? For those kind of police officers, we say I've been meet. Yeah, How so, do we begin to yeah, address so this issue? The, the, that issue um, is something that cut across the society yeah. at large. Um, talks about the rule of law. Mm -hmm. Say uh, even the judiciary not the independent people they control them. Yes. Around. So it's a deeper issue because we have situation whereby um, you, somebody will be infringing on your rights. Uh, mm -hmm. And we have a situation where in this country, the Attorney General made a statement, or to, I think the President or to the Attorney General, made a statement that say the security of the country uh, is, is, is superior to uh, the, 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 the liberty of an individual. Mm. In an organized country, when things they work, that is not how it's, it's done. So, okay, so, so, do you think, so do you think at this moment, we could just narrow because it's already a common time. Mm. Nigerians, they talk, say, if Nigerian police won't work, then they work. Mm. Then they talk, say, if not work, then sabi. Mm. If not investigation, then sabi. Mm. No doubt about that. Mm. I mean, make we face time. Ever since SARS come, we also say cases of armed robbery mm. to a large extent don't also reduce for the country. Mm. Now, the abuse then we they protest mm. um, against. Yeah. You know, feel say, this time, now we suppose now focus on proper education. Now, wanting to know how to carry the gun, to know how to enter places, mm. bring out the bad guys, mix the other ones when they're inside the matter. But to understand the law on which we say you, they also enforce. Mm. You know, if you say, rather than for us to enter some kind of combat moves, mm. you know, if you say this is not time to go back to the drawing board, mm. sit these people down mm. and have proper education. Mm. You know, if you say time don't reach now to really look the recruitment process where they also carry police in. Because a guy, you go understand and say, if you carry person where not to understand, but in game muscle, if he carry gun, if it's a bit wrong for sand, can't give him more training, you don't equip him. Are we not back to square one? Yeah, um, that's why I started by listing the five divisions of policing because those divisions, they have their special training that they, they give them. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. So in that division, if Nigerian police need to work professionally, they need to now train individuals in those five divisions. Yes, what I'm saying is that you don't even need SWAT to stay for road, not being worked with that. Mm. Now, when there is a high-risk incident or situation, then that is when you invite them. I am robbery case. Then, now they will come. Okay. They will just come and do their work and, and go, go back. Okay. Don't be saying they go, they road, they okay. ask you waiting be your laptop, waiting. No, that is not their work. So now we say this education, now we need them from both your garden when they deploy these people. Yeah. So even the policemen so when they the different divisions the as well. It's the general orientation yes. of the policing. And that's why I started by saying there are five divisions yes. of policing globally when people know. Yeah. So in Nigeria, we need to now have people. We need to now structure our policing to fit into those five. Mm -hmm. You don't just see, like, in the, you, you cannot see a policeman with a gun on the road. Mm. It's only when there is a special case, you will see them. Because they are available, but you will see them on the road. And for here, now, like, normal thing. Now, normal if thing, I, if you see policemen with no whole gun for here, you'll be like saying, you know, yes. they, uh, So, for that, that is yeah. what we are saying. So, if we want to really do things the way yes. the things should be done, then we must 
benchmark with the world, structure our policing system into those five divisions. Yeah. For the thing to work. To, to work. All right, then. Thank you very much. I've got Chris David uh, Nain joining us for um, our show today in the Presidential Candidate Liberation Movement. Um, you don't correct us earlier on for the, um, for, as we started the show earlier on today. And also explain the structures of how the police force supposed they, if we really want to achieve uh, what we set out to achieve from the very beginning. Thank you so much for taking us on the show. Now, thank for the Republic, then we get next with um, Bucci. As we always talk, and carry your face toward come up because I go sweat, I go shout. Uh, and I go say if even feel best for the Bucci self <laughs> on top waiting to go talk on top of football matter. And now they too light to quarry for on top of football issue. But the good morning, Nigeria will go soon continue. Not change your channel, we'll go soon return.